What's up guys, Rob Sambles here from Rob Sambles Photography. Another new video coming your way again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Think Tank belt which I use. Going to do a bit of a product review. I love Think Tank products, I have a few of them. But one of my most useful ones is this changer belt. I've got the different pouches, I use this for loads of different sports events. Going to talk a little bit about how I use it, some of the accessories that I've chosen to have on there. Um, see how it compares if any of you guys are maybe thinking about buying this type of belt or weighing up your options on which belt is best to buy. Hopefully this video will be useful for you. So I'm ready to show you. I hope you guys are ready to watch it. Let's get into it. As always guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber already, I really appreciate that, but don't forget to hit that notification button down the bottom there. That's the bell next to the subscribe button. That will let you know every time I upload a new video, which will be fairly regularly at the moment. If you're not a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button. You know, let's, let's show you guys some more of the videos which we do. Don't forget to check out some of my other social media channels. You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm gonna put those across the screen right now so you guys can see those links. Last but not least, guys, through the course of the video, if you guys are enjoying it, please do hit that thumbs up button. Give me the like. It helps me out more than you probably realise. And last but not least, make sure you comment and let me know what you think of the belt. If you guys have got one of these belts, comment and let me know how you find it. Maybe you have one of the other brand belts um, which you think are better. Let me know that as well. I, um, I'm not like sponsored by Think Tank. I don't work for them, anything like that. This is just a product review because I've got the Think Tank belt. There's also loads of different accessories that go with this belt. So if you have something which I don't have, maybe you find it really useful and you think I'm missing out, let me know guys. Write that in the comments for me, that'd be really good. Right, let's get into the review. Okay guys, so first of all, the actual belt itself. Um, so anyone who's not familiar with this product, this belt, um, you probably won't be able to see it from over there, but this is the Think Tank Pro Speed Belt uh, version 2.0. Um, this is the medium to large size for me. Um, I'm the larger guy, I need the larger one. Uh, the belt on its own just comes kind of bare. There's no um, pockets or attachments on it. Although well, I think you can buy a set, but you can just buy the belt on its own and then you attach whichever pockets you want. Really simple, has a really good solid buckle on the front, um, really adjustable size. I really love the quality of this belt. The stitching is really good. You can imagine that you could kind of load this up quite heavy and there's nothing that suggests it's gonna like fail or, or come apart or anything like that. It takes a little bit of adjusting to get the size just right, but once you do, it doesn't change. So I've never found it kind of working its way loose or anything like that. Really great quality build on the actual belt itself. So then in terms of the different pockets, now the way they attach, I'm going to take this one off just to show you, the actual pockets itself, they all come um, with kind of an attachment on the back and this piece of uh, plastic in between and then the Velcro. Now the way it works, you can see on the belt there's all these different loopholes. Now you can set it up one or two different ways. You can set it up so the plastic comes in behind the belt and then the attachment goes over the top, which means that it will slide and you could move it around the belt. You can also do it so that the piece of plastic goes through one of the loopholes, like so, attach it down and then attach the Velcro, which means it will stay in one place. It won't slide up and down. I guess different people like them different ways. Um, personally, I tend to keep it so that the stuff moves around. I like just to be able to kind of shift stuff around a little bit, especially if I've got a pocket that I can keep at the side of the belt and then slot it around. I'm going to do a part of this video in a bit when, I, when I'll be wearing the belt, so you'll see a bit more about how that works. So that's how the pockets attach, guys. They go on really easily like that. Now, in terms of the different pouches that I personally have, I've gone for three which I have all there on there all the time, and then I've got a fourth one which I'll talk to you about in a minute as well. I have this one. This is the Lens Changer 15 version 2.0. Um, it's a smaller lens pouch. I find it really useful for keeping like my 50mm lens, uh, my Sigma 18-35, that kind of size lens. You're just about right to go in there. You wouldn't be able to put anything too much bigger in there. I then have this one. Now this one uh, is called the Lens Drop. Now this is really great. This is probably the most useful accessory I have on here. This one has the drawstring top, you open it up and it's just like a soft pouch inside. 
Now what I do, when I'm working an event, um, and maybe through the course of the event, I think I'm gonna use kind of three different lenses. I normally will have my two cameras with a lens on each, and then my third most used lens I will keep in here. The reason being, it's so easy just to grab it in and out. And I literally can take it out, take the lens off the camera I wanna put it onto, li literally drop it in there, whack the new lens on, pull the cord, and that's gonna be safe. Now, look, that's not ideal because obviously in a perfect world we'll put our front caps, our end caps, and everything else on. But at the same time, if you're in a rush and you're in a vent and you just wanna get that lens on there and carry on shooting, I feel confident enough that I can just chuck the lens in there pull that drawstring tight, and that's gonna look after it, it's gonna protect it for now. Inside, it's really soft. There's nothing in there that's gonna damage it. I always make sure it's clean in here as well. I put out any little kind of specks of crumbs or whatever might have fallen in there through the course of the day. Really useful one. Another really useful one, this one is called the Trim Changer Pouch. Now you can get different sizes of these. You can get a wider one. I've got the slightly more narrow one. This is just a simple pouch which allows you to put loads of different kind of accessories inside. I will keep in here um, some business cards, a pen, um, my spare batteries, my memory cards. I've got a lens cloth in here. I'll also have um, like the briefing or my notes for the event in here. Maybe a timetable if it's like a tournament or notes of important things I need to make sure that I capture. There's loads of different little ring holes where you can attach stuff and different pouches in there too. Protective dividers. Really useful. So those three pouches are the ones which always stay on there and never come off. Let me show you a couple of the others which sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. So the other kind of, I suppose, optional pouch I have is this slightly bigger one. Now this is called the LC75, so Lens Changer 75 pop down version 2.0. The reason it says pop down in the name of it is because it's extendable. So you can unzip this section down here and when you've unzipped it, it gets longer and becomes an even longer, sorry, let me unzip it all the way. It becomes an even longer pouch. Now, this pouch will quite comfortably hold a 70 to 200. It will actually hold a 70 to 200 when it's done up shorter. But with the thing out, it will hold the 70 to 200 with the hood on as well. I rarely tend to have to carry around my 70 to 200 on my belt. It's normally attached to a camera on a monopod or something like that. But maybe if I'm doing like a big event, like an air show or something when I'm out work, walking like all day, I'll have this with me because it means I can carry the stuff if I need to. If I need to take that lens off and put on a couple of wide angle lenses, I can put the 70 to 200 in here. Really useful pouch to have. Um, and like I said, I don't tend to use that one all the time, um, but, but quite often I will. Chat on over here as well. So the other one which I have on here sometimes is this. Now this isn't an official think tank product. I should say that straight off the bat. I just bought this on Amazon. But this one is a um, monopod, like um, holster. It's literally just kind of a, a hole through. You can slide your monopod in there and it will stay attached to the belt. Really useful sometimes if you're walking around, you don't need your monopod for a while, you can tuck it in there and it hangs off your belt and it's out of the way. So really useful accessory I just got myself and added on. I've just attached it on with a little carabiner here on one of the, one of the ringlets. Okay, and lastly, the other accessory, which this is a bit of a DIY job I've done here, guys. Now, a lot of you guys will be familiar um, with the Spider Pro kind of holster system. I have made my own um, sort of attachment version, which is attached to my belt. Now, as I'm sat here talking about this, I'm just thinking this is probably one of my future videos real soon to show you how I've done this, um, because I've done a proper job of it. It's screwed in and it's attached, and um, you know I can use that to mount a camera actually onto the belt itself. You can buy an official adapter for this Think Tank belt, an actual Spider Pro holster adapter for this, but it costs something like 80 pounds. I did this myself, the work was free, obviously I had to buy this attachment here, but I'll do a video that talks a little bit more about that, but I have that on there as well, that's the other attachment I have. Okay guys, so we're going to switch the video slightly, a bit more wide angle, um, so you guys can see me actually wearing the belt and I'll talk through a little bit more about how I use it, alright? Okay guys, so this is one of the ways that I will um, use the belt. So I've set it up um, as if I was using it for you. I've got my one camera in my holster on the side, my 50mm on there at the moment. I've got the pouch on the back this side. 
On my other side, I've got the couple of pouches too. I've set them up right now so they slide around. So like when I need something from here, I can bring this one right forwards. I can get stuff from it. When I don't need it, I can push it to the back so it's out of my way and it's not interfering with my camera. Same goes with the lens pouches. I could slide these to the front a bit more if I need to get stuff from them. Or again, I can keep them out of the way. So that's how I normally will have it um, set up. To give you an example of literally how I will use it, if I'm using the camera and I need to change the lens, I'll bring the pouch to the front. I normally will take this off. And you literally can grab your lens out. I would take, I won't actually do the change, but you take one off, I literally, I can drop it back in there. I pull that tight and I'm good to go. Um, sometimes I'll do that actually in the holster because then it's much easier. Obviously you can actually turn around, you can take your lens out. You can whack in the thing, you put your new one on. Um, so it depends a little bit, obviously, depending on the environment. I wouldn't do that if there's dust clouds and things around me, but generally that's not the case. Um, I wouldn't tend to use the belt at sort of a, an event when I'm sat stationary, like maybe a football game where I'm sat in the same place the whole time. But where this is invaluable is if I'm doing a tournament or something like that, or, or something where I'm a bit more mobile and I need to move around a little bit more. I don't always use it with the holster. Sometimes I'll use it with a camera strap around my shoulder, in which case I reposition things slightly. Um, let me show you how that works now. Okay guys, so now I'm wearing my camera um, with the camera strap on. Now the thing that I find really useful about this is you can almost use the belt to help you with stuff. You know what it's like when you've got your, I use the sling strap. When you've got your camera on the sling strap, you know what it's like when you move forwards or you lean and this kind of swings out in your way. What you can do with the belt, if you move the pouch slightly more to the side, you can actually keep this behind there so that then when you're in the middle of doing something you move around it's not swinging forwards then when you need it you just bring it back to the front and you're good to go if you guys have seen my video where i've done a review of the of the jewel straps so this is half the jewel strap it's exactly the same i wear the jewel strap i have the camera hanging each side one behind here one will hang in this gap here and i've got them both and they're both good to go so i find this really handy it's also great to not have the weight of this stuff on your back the whole time so if you've got a backpack or something like that or a sling bag you're carrying all that stuff distributes the weight real nicely i could carry everything in here for a whole day i could carry you know one lens here one lens in the pouch i could get the bigger pouch which i showed you guys earlier i could put that on this side i could wear my dual camera strap two cameras batteries, memory cards, the whole lot, all in one go, nice and easy. I think you guys probably get my enthusiasm, guys. I love this product. I think it's a really, really great belt. If you're into one, if you're looking at trying to get a belt, I highly recommend the Think Tank. Um, I certainly would suggest it's a, a good product for me. I've had this probably two years, maybe at least now, um, maybe longer, three years perhaps, and I use it all the time, find it really, really great. It's still in great condition. It's lasted those two, three years really, really well. One last thing I wanted to show you guys, I forgot when we were sat down talking about the belt earlier, is that every one of these attachments has a waterproof cover that comes with it. It's probably one of the best things about this product. Now it's really simple, with all the pouches, it's in the bottom. It comes out, it's attached on a cord, so it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna fall out, it's not gonna get lost. So when you've got this on the belt and you've got your lens in there, you can just cover the whole thing over with the waterproof cover. It's absolutely great, really, really good. And one of the best things, I have worn this um, shooting like an outdoor sports tournament before. And when it rains, I just put all the pouches on. Yes, it makes it slightly more difficult to get your gear out, but not that bad. You just kind of have to unhook the top, pull your stuff out, and then you can hook that back over again. But it's really useful, really waterproof. Um, I trust this as well. So, you know, I'd happily stand out in the rain all day um, with this on my belt with all the rain covers on there and it would work, work really well. All of the smaller pouches have them as well, so the smaller pouches have the little rain cover in the bottom. Um, this one is the only one that's slightly different. The pouch isn't in the bottom, the rain cover, it's in the side, it's still on a cord though, and that comes over and covers the product. So really useful um, rain protection for the Think Tank belt, guys. So I hope you found the video useful. Um, I hope it showed you a little bit about the belt if you didn't know much about it already and about the different pouches you can get. Like I said, guys, comment and let me know what you think of this product. There's loads of other competitive companies which um, do similar products, which I also looked at when I bought this belt. Um, but I'd seen this belt firsthand because a friend of mine had one already and I thought it was good and I was impressed by it, which is why I personally went for the Think Tank product. Let me know what you guys think of the other ones. Thank you for watching once again, guys. I'll see you on the next video real soon. See you later, guys.